Chris. Hey. Hey, Chris. Ooh. Chris. Hey. Hello, Chris. Chris. What? Can I ask you some questions? Um. Sure, shoot. Tell me about Gestus. The Brechtian acting technique? Hmm, okay. I guess I'll start with a quote from here. <clears throat> this is Brecht's term for that which expresses basic human attitudes. Not merely gesture, but all sides of social relations. Department, annotation, facial expression. The Stanislaskian actor is to work at identifying with the character he or she portrays. The Brechtian actor is to work at expressing the social attitudes in clear and stylized ways. The fuck does that mean? It basically means that the actor focuses on showing the important facts of the character, like the social standing or maybe even profession. For example, if you were playing a thief, you might walk around on tiptoe and constantly look over your shoulder. Also, to use another quote from here, Most importantly, Brecht focused on separating your thoughts and actions from the character. Fully becoming the character is one thing, but using your performance to make a comment on the character's actions is quite another. Which basically means that you would need to critically think about said character and form an opinion on their actions. For example, using the thief again, you would constantly look over your shoulder. Not because that's what a thief does, but perhaps because as a thief you feel almost threatened. Perhaps followed in case you might get caught at any moment. So you'd constantly be watching your own back. Therefore, making the comment that, as a thief, you'd constantly be having to watch your own back. Because eventually, you'll get caught. Okay, uh, next question. What's the alienation effect? Well, according to Encyclopedia Britannica, it involves the use of techniques designed to distance the audience from emotional involvement in the play through jolting reminders of the artificiality of the theatrical performance. Uh, which in English means reminding the audience that what they're seeing isn't real. It's just a play. Why would he want to do that? He wanted the audience to actually think about what's going on instead of just sitting back and enjoying the ride. Like, have you ever been to a movie and got so engrossed in the story that your brain just kind of switches off? Yeah, I guess I have. To quote this book, Such total immersion, Brett felt, was dangerous because it opens the audience to mindless manipulation. People who are constantly manipulated in theatre, Brett said, were also more susceptible to being brainwashed outside the theatre by dictators corporations and religions. So the alienation effect is essentially used to remind the audience that they're, what they're watching isn't real, therefore making them less complacent and more likely to think critically about what's going on in the piece. Making sure they don't become mindless drones just doing what they're told, but people who could think for themselves and see the world for what it really was. Yeah, pretty much. But how would he do it? Well, one example would be to expose the mechanisms of theatre. To quote this again. He might expose the theatrical lights and remove the curtains to remind the audience they are in a theatre. In this way, Brecht argued, the audience would never lose sight of the fact that the stage was a stage. So, like, if we filmed ourselves filming this and then use that instead of the actual film to show what was going on, sort of behind the scenes.
Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so what other ways might he alienate his audience? Well, breaking the fourth wall was another example. Oh, I can do that! Wait, where are you going? Oh no. Woo! Let's do this! No, 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 no! Ooh. I'm okay! Oh, thank God. Ah, my spleen! Ooh. Ooh. Are you okay? My life is pain! Anyway, breaking the fourth wall actually refers to when an actor talks to the audience directly. To take a quote from here, this would involve actors talking to the audience during a play, perhaps getting their opinion on the issues raised. In Mother Courage and Her Children, perhaps Brecht's most famous play, the mother figure is haggling with kidnappers over how much she should pay for the return of her son. She is poor and does not have enough money to feed her two other children. She is grappling with a dilemma. The action stops. She turns to the audience and asks, What would you do? Uh, mm. That sounds like a great way to alienate your audience. Not only does it break up the main action of the play, thus making sure that the audience is reminded that this is just a piece of theatre, but by asking them a direct question, it also makes sure that they actually think about the problem. My thoughts exactly. Oh, by the way, um, what happened to your spleen? Fucking dog stole it. Right. So how do you feel about Brett now? It's like he's trying to help us see the problems in the world so that we can go out there and change them to get up and do something good for the world. In fact, I'm going to go do something now. Excellent. What's first on the agenda? First, I'm going to go get my spleen back. See ya. Um, nah. Uh, oh dear.